Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. Finally back in the woodlands to try and capture what really is quite late autumn colour. As you can see, the woodland floor is covered in leaves. I've missed the boat a bit really, but with the sport and that and being busy with other work, I've just not had time to come out and get some colour. But luckily I've come to a new woodland, never been here before, and literally 200 yards in, I found a nice scene, I think. There's a little bit of sky in the, in the top of the, the frame, but we can take the highlights down on that hopefully. But it's just the colour. I can really bring the oranges and the reds out of the, the dead leaves that are on the floor. Some nice beech trees, nice little avenue of beech trees with some lovely colour at the backdrop. So uh, yeah, first frame in. I'm quite happy with it actually. 5D Mark IV, I'm on ISO 50. I'm on F8 and I'm at a fifth of a second. Now I've got to be a bit careful because every now and again there's a bit of a breeze and obviously I don't want any movement in them leaves. But uh, right now it's quite still, so, so it's just the job really. So I'm at fifth of a second, F8, like I say, ISO 50. I've got the variable polarizer on and I've cranked that right up just to try and enhance the colors best I can. You know, less, the more I can do in camera using that variable polarizer to bring the colors out, the less I've got to do in post-process, you know. So yeah, first frame in the bag, I think. It looks okay on the back of the camera anyway. I'm using the two second delay again, just so that there's no movement. Just dab the back of the screen on the live screen, two seconds, and then it takes the frame. So yeah, quite quite chuffed so far. It's always a bit difficult when you come to a new place, a new venue, but uh, yeah, it looks quite promising. I don't think I've missed too much color. I'm probably, I don't know, two weeks late really, but you know, judging at the amount of leaves that's on the floor, I've missed the best of the color, but never mind. We're here and we're, we get, we've got the camera out. So anyway, I'll pop this frame up now guys, hope you like it. Put any comments below and let me know what you think to it and uh, I'll move on and see if I can find another scene. scene again I've gone for the avenue sort of scene again it's a bit right side heavy if you if you know what I mean I've got a, a row of beech trees to my right and there's one particular beech tree second one in to the frame that's got a lovely limb and it goes all the way across the avenue if you like and it sort of caught my eye and it's, it sort of frames frames the avenue quite nicely it's a bit of a, a brashy mess on the left got some young young saplings on the left so it's a little bit right side heavy this scene but I was happy enough with it, lovely red carpet of leaves again. Again, use the variable polarizer to really enhance the colors. And I was just sat here and I actually I received a phone call. And while I was, I'd finished off taking the image and I was just about to do a piece to camera, talk to you guys, the phone rang and I took the, I took the call. And as I took the call, the sun's come out and as you can see, it's still out now. And wow, did it cast some fantastic light on these beech trees on the right hand side. And it just brought the image to life. I was happy enough with it quite flat as it was because I could bring the colours out and do a bit of post-production and lighten the, the, the centre of the frame a bit. But when that light come out, when the sun's come out behind me, as you can see now it's quite bright. I've got some shadows coming off the beech trees. Oh, it's, it's, it's enhanced the colours without the polariser, you know. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show it's worth hanging about. And luckily I took the call and, uh, and wow, crikey. It's really enhanced the frame. So we're uh, really chuffed with this one. What was a mediocre, okay-ish, colourful frame has turned into a vibrant... I mean, there might be a few highlights on the beech trees that I might have to just tone down a bit but so pleased I was just hanging about and uh, not in, in any sort of rush, you know, took the phone call and then, and then as I was on the phone, the sun's come out. So yeah, it's worked out really well. 
Again, I'm on the 70 to 200, about 100 mil. I say it's a little bit right side heavy, but should be able to alter a few tones in that in, in post-production. And uh, yeah, chuffed to bits. It's turning out to be quite a nice woodland, this. Definitely, I've definitely missed the best of the colour, unfortunately. These beech trees that I'm photographing now, they've, they've almost been stripped to the majority of their leaves, but uh, still a nice scene, a nice sort of aut autumnal scene, back end autumnal scene. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's paying off coming to this new place. I want sure, you never know when you come to a new place, new woodland, if you're gonna find anything or not, but, uh, and not being out in the woodlands for probably a couple of months, really, you know, you do you do lose your, your woodland vision, if you like, but it's, it's been a good test this morning and uh, yeah, managed to grab this scene so uh, jobs are good and I'll pop it up now guys and I hope you like it. Well, although the sun, when it did come out, really enhanced that last composition really nicely, brought the bark out in, in them beech trees, lovely. It's out to stay now, and as you can see, it's really harsh now, so lots of high tones and, and obviously dark tones, and they're just not, it's not working out right, so I'm gonna call it a day, but really chuffed that I came and had a look around this new woodland. It's only about 20 minutes from home, and it's only about 100 acres, something like that, so I'm back at the van already after being right in the center of the woodland, so yeah, really handy, but, uh, Incidentally, talking of the van, it's up for sale. <laughs> I'm sure most of you have seen it on various videos. I bought it a couple of years ago now for a, for a bit of work that I was doing in between photography and that work's now stopped, so don't really need it. So if you know anyone that wants a Volkswagen T5 on a 63 plate, let me know. I've kitted it out in the back for uh, a bit of overnight camping. I'll pop some images up at the end of the video. So. Yeah, it'd be sad to see it go, but I don't know, I might get an estate car or something so that I can still have a few, you know, the odd cheeky night out up in the lakes or something on a photography trip. But uh, yeah, it'd be sad to see it go, but if you know anyone that wants a van, let me know. But uh, anyway, enough of the van sales. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, that video and then a couple of nice frames. Great to be back out in the woodland and getting my eye back in. And uh, yeah, hopefully be back here soon. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Take care. Catch up soon. <laughs>